What it do, Scorpio? I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well, y'all. So we're going to get into this reading, Scorpio. We're going to pull and see some things that we should be thankful for. And then we're going to pull some messages from my situationship, okay? If anything resonates, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And if you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below. All right, Scorpios, let's go. So, Scorpio, you should be thankful that you understand that you cannot control everything, okay? I don't know how many times I say that word, control. And I know a lot of us Scorpios, we, we like to control shit, whether y'all want to admit it or not. But we have to understand. And once we understand that we can't control everything, Scorpio, I feel like our life will be a whole lot easier, okay? Once we stop trying to control everything, you know what I'm saying, and let things unfold naturally, we'll have a better understanding, okay? I feel like there is some relationships. Some of you guys, you could have recently met, you know, a man, woman, but this could be like a, a, a platonic thing. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be like a romantic relationship. These can just be relationships that you built or relationships that you're starting to build with people, okay? These can be friendships. These can be business relationships, okay? But I feel like whatever these relationships that you're working on or that you're building now, like these are things that's going to have longevity, okay? These means these are bonds that you're going to create with people, but that shit is going to last. These aren't going to be like our past relationships where them shit lasts about two, three weeks and then back to the drawing board, okay? Because see, as you grow and change, you're going to attract people that's energetically on your level, okay? So I feel like some of you guys could be like meeting new people. If you're not meeting them now, okay, especially during this Libra season. I don't know about y'all, but I've connected with a few, a few of you guys, you know what I'm saying, during Libra season. And I feel like because, you know, Libra has to do with love, relationships, marriage, all that type of stuff, okay? I feel like some of you should be thankful that you learned to put yourself first, okay? At one point in time, especially us Scorpios, you know, we're we going to give. We're going to give our all. But we have to learn, like, shit, it's okay to give, but you got to learn to put that energy back into yourself. You can't always be trying to give that energy or give your good energy to people, okay? Especially when people ain't appreciative or, you know, they value that good energy that they receive from you, okay? So we have to learn about self-love. We have to learn that all that energy and all the best wishes and everything that we want for everybody, we have to want to start wanting this shit for ourselves, okay? I feel like some of you should be thankful for your health, okay? Some of us, when it comes to our health, baby, that shit been up and down, okay? I've talked to a few of you guys. You shared with me, you know, uh, I know I had a family member talk about having a stroke, okay? Me and uh, Miss Ford, we both done had shoulder surgeries. Another family member was talking about having surgeries. Like, we done been through it all, okay? But at the end of the day, Scorpio, we still are here. We still here now. We may not be in the best tip top shape, okay, or the shape that we want to be, but we still capable of moving around and doing what we need to do. I will say that. I do fuck and complain about being limited, but I am able to do a whole lot more than some other people out here, okay? My memo used to always tell me, don't complain because there's always somebody else out here that's doing worse than you. You know what I'm saying? That kind of stick with you. Especially when you're going through rough times. Like, shit, now I know my shit rough, but it, it's somebody else that's that's having a harder time than you are, okay? And we also have success, okay? We're all on this journey. We're all trying to better ourselves. We all trying to get to the promised land, baby, okay? And we're all wanting to be successful in some shape, form, or fashion, okay? We want to have success in love. We want to have be successful in our careers and our businesses. We want our children to be successful. Like, we just want to have success all across the board, okay? Success in our health, our wealth, okay? Everything, our well-being, our mind, our spiritual, you know, we just want success. All right, y'all. So let's get into this situation. Let's see what it is that Spirit wants you guys to know. If anything been resonating with you so far, go ahead and like this video. All right, Holy Spirit. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? I love you, Scorpio. 411. I mean, 414 Scorpio to be significant. I'm going to look it up. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Well, high ticket it down. All right, Scorpio, so we got time. You got somebody, Scorpio, in your energy that likes to do things on their own time, okay? So somebody don't feel like they on the clock, okay? 
Like this divine time, and they probably cool with divine time, but they like, oh yeah, I did shit on my own time. So this is someone I feel like their energy towards you is they did shit on their own time, okay? But this could have been someone that expected when they said jump, you supposed to be like, ha ha, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I feel like when it came to you, Scorpio, someone did things when they want to. Okay, so this is someone who really didn't value your time, okay? They felt like their time and things that they had going on was way more important, made way more valuable than yours, okay? I feel like someone here is very selfish because when you're in that type of energy, that's, that's, that's a very selfish energy to feel like the only clock that you are on or you have to do things on your time, okay? That nobody else's time is important. Nobody else's time is, is worth a damn but yours, okay? Somebody feel like the only clock, baby, they was on was theirs. And this is someone, Scorpio, that never wanted to give you an explanation, okay? So someone here, they could have been single, but I'm getting energy. This person wasn't single, but they moved around like they were single, okay? Like, you know, when you're single, you don't have to explain yourself to nobody. You know, you can do what you, you know, you choose to, you can, but you don't really have to do a lot of explaining because you don't, I don't say belong to nobody, but you're not committed to anyone. So someone you were dealing with, Scorpio, really didn't like to explain themselves, okay? So this means anytime you ask them a question, Scorpio, I hope you didn't expect to get an answer because you didn't get one dealing with this person. I feel like when it especially came to dealing with other men and women, like if you was questioning this person and asking them, hey, you know, is there anybody else or what about an old boy, old girl I see you with? Like, who, who the fuck is that? You know, this is someone that would try to, you know, reflect that shit because they didn't want to answer anything. They're like, hold on, Scorpio, we're not even together, huh? You can't be asking me no damn questions. But like I said, when push comes to shove and when the shoe on the other foot, I feel like when it came to you, this person would ask you questions and they expected you to ask, to get them an answer, okay? What code that blast say, okay? I can lie to you, but don't you lie to me, okay? That's the type of shit they was on. They 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 didn't want you to lie to them. They want you to always keep it 100 with them. But they didn't feel the need to do shit with you, okay? We also have mystery. Someone, Scorpio, didn't really want to reveal their true self to you, okay? So someone could have had issues with, like, self-acceptance, okay? So maybe someone felt like they really couldn't show people who they were or they wore a mask or they always kind of presented themselves or they had the energy of being this big-ass mystery, you know? Like, when it came to this person, I feel like you knew the bare minimum, you know? Like, this person didn't really dive deep with you. You didn't really have... You could have had a connection with this person, but it wasn't one to where this person, like, opened up to you and told you, you know, their innermost thoughts and their dreams and their fears and, you know, things of that nature. I feel like this is someone who really kept a lot of things hidden from you, especially because I feel like this is someone who either often got judged in the past or this is someone who feared people judging them for who they really were. Okay, so this is someone who felt like they really can be their true, authentic self. This is also someone, Scorpio, that you share this emotional tie to, okay? So this means, Scorpio, that you're connected to this person emotionally, okay? So that means that there could have been or there was an emotional connection that you share with this person, but I feel like there was still a mystery. Like, you really still didn't know this person, even though emotionally, yeah, you connected with this person. There was a bond. There was a connection, but this person always remained a mystery to you. Like, if you sit back and think about this person right now, Scorpio, it, you know the, the the basics. You may know this person's first, last name, their birthday. You may know they had siblings or where they was from. But, you know, you don't know about their childhood. You know about the things they went through. You know about their past relationships and, you know, things like that. Like, that person didn't really dive that deep with you. It's like they kind of gave you that surface. Like, this is one of those surface-ass relationships to where you didn't really dive deep below the waters. You know, you just talked about surface-ass shit. Let's get one more messages for my Scorpios. What is it that Scorpio needs to know? I'm not talking about him. All right, Scorpio, this could have been someone who always was a know-it-all, okay? So not only Scorpio was this person selfish and like to do things on their own time, okay? This person want to do what they want. You know what I'm saying? They, they didn't like to listen to people, okay? So this is someone who I felt like had a hard time listening to other people, okay? Taking advice, viewing different perspectives, 
This is someone who always felt like shit it was their way or the highway. Like, if you didn't think like them, if you didn't view things like them, you know what I'm saying? It was something that was wrong with you, okay? So this was a very judgmental person. But ain't that crazy? This was a very judgmental person, but they didn't like to be judged. They were scared of being judged. But this is someone who felt like they knew, like they had all the answers. If you went to this person, they just knew it all, Scorpio. It wasn't none this person felt like they didn't know the answer to or couldn't find out for you. But see, at the same time, when you deal with a know-it-all, how, how can you tell somebody something that I already know everything, right? So I feel like this person had a hard time, like I said, seeing other people's point of view because this is someone who always felt like their point of view was right. Like, they was right. They always right and you're wrong, okay? So it's kind of hard to have a conversation with somebody, okay? It's kind of hard to get your point across to somebody who only sees their way, okay? Their perspective is the only way. This is also someone, Scorpio, that left you on red, okay? This person never replied to your messages. Why, Scorpio? Thank you, Spirit. Because they did things on their own time. This is a very selfish-ass energy, okay? They didn't reply to your messages, your phone calls, okay? None of that. Always leaving you on red. Always kind of leaving you in that stuff-ass energy. And for some of you guys, they feel like this situation was just something to do, okay? This situation, this connection just held them over until they found a better opportunity, okay? So you could have been dealing with the opportunities, okay? And when you were dealing with this person, I just felt like, oh, just dealing with Scorpio, it was just something to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just deal with Scorpio and holler at Scorpio until a better opportunity, until I think a better man or a better woman who will come around, you know, who I can give my energy to and, you know, give a little bit more of my time or somebody who I feel like is worth more of my time and energy here, okay? All right, so let's see who this reading is about. Let's go to the who did. So let's see, Scorpio, who this person was about that left you on red, that never wanted to give you an explanation. Okay, but I feel like you still are emotionally connected to this person. Like you were this person, y'all had an emotional connection, but I feel like you didn't totally 100% know this person. You know what I'm saying? Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. Who is this about? What's this reading about? All right, Scorpio, this can be about someone who wears a necklace or a chain. This is someone who has shoulder length hair or a bob. All right, someone who wears a watch. We got light brown eyes. We got green eyes. Okay. We got the eyes coming through. Let me get a couple more and then we'll get to the signs. Who is this reading about, Holy Spirit? All right, somebody who has a nice ass, okay? Straight teeth. Someone who has curves, and we have average height female, 5'4". All right, Scorpio, so let's get the signs. Let's see what it's about. All right, we got heavy Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius. We got Capricorn, Pisces, Sag, Gemini. We got Libra, Taurus, Gemini, and Aquarius. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.